When Loretta Sims spent 50 cents on a pack of Q-tips at her local thrift store, she thought the items would come in handy around the house. But when she later opened the box, it didn't contain cotton swabs at all. What lay hidden inside was far more valuable. Loretta Sims comes from Shawnigan Lake in British Columbia, Canada. In her spare time, this woman is quite the bargain hunter, and as a result, she can sometimes be found scouring the shelves of her local thrift store. That's what Sims was up to one eventful day in January 2018. Yes, on that day, she'd visited the Cowichan Hospital Auxiliary Thrift Store in nearby Duncan, British Columbia, to see what products it had on offer. Sims was hopeful that she would find something special there. Little did she know what lay in store. Explaining her love for thrift stores, Sims told Czech News, It's fun to come in and poke around. You never know what you're going to find. They say you can't find good finds at a thrift shop. However, Sims knew otherwise, to an extent. You see, while she had presumably gotten her hands on some decent bargains over the years, little did Sims realize that her greatest discovery was yet to come. And it all began with that visit to Kowichan Hospital Auxiliary Thrift Store. As Sims perused the store's shelves, she came across a rather ordinary-looking box of Q-tips. And while it didn't, of course, appear to be a particularly exciting find, Sims believed the items would come in handy at home. So she swiftly purchased the swabs and took them back to her house in Shawnigan Lake. Explaining her reasoning behind the buy, Sims later revealed, The Q-tips I could use for cleaning between my windows is what I was using them for. However, unbeknown to the bargain hunter, the unassuming box concealed some hidden treasure, and the haul was about to be revealed. Incredibly, when Sims opened up the container, she discovered not a bunch of cotton swabs, but instead an array of sparkling rings, eight to be precise, all adorned with diamonds, rubies, and emeralds. What's more, among the valuables, there was also a string of pearls. As she surveyed the contents of the Q-tips box, Sims struggled to come to terms with what she was looking at. Recalling her initial reaction to the amazing discovery, she said, Oh my God, like I couldn't believe it when I found it. Meanwhile, when news of the true value of Sims' purchase got back to the thrift store, staff were equally shocked. I'd priced the little boxes, store director Arlene Cristofoli revealed. I just took it for granted they were Q-tips and put it on the shelf for 50 cents each. So she paid 50 cents for eight rings and a string of pearls. But although Sims had bagged herself the bargain of a lifetime, something didn't sit right with her about keeping the jewelry. As a result, somewhat amazingly, the next day she returned to the thrift store and handed the valuables back. Her thinking? Well, she believed they could do more good there than they would in her possession. Explaining why she returned the trinkets, Sims revealed, I just didn't feel like I should keep the rings. I just felt it wasn't meant for me. Meant for me to find, I think, and to bring back, but that was the main reason that I did it. And after Sims made the 12-mile journey back to the store, her discovery and both her honesty and generosity left volunteers there blown away. Speaking to Czech News, staff said that Sims' gesture was wonderful and astounding. What's more, thrift store workers later confirmed that the string of pearls was indeed authentic. This meant that, including the rings, Sims' Q-tip haul was worth a total of $1,400. Clearly, then, precious booty of this kind would be a godsend to the Kowichan Hospital Auxiliary Thrift Store. The store is run by a dedicated staff of volunteers, all of whom offer their services free of charge. The money raised by sales, meanwhile, goes to helping patients at the nearby Kowichan Hospital. But it's fair to say that the store's regular stock typically has much lower price tags than the value of the jewelry. Later, the story of the jewelry's origins came to light. It turned out that the precious items had belonged to a woman who had been a patient at the Kowichan Hospital. Then, after the woman died, her son and brother had sorted through her house and decided to donate some of her belongings to a good cause. Whether or not the relatives were aware of the jewelry inside the Q-tip box is, however, unclear. One thing's for sure, though, and that's that the collection is already in different hands. In fact, less than a week after Sims first took the jewelry home, all the items had found new owners. They're already sold, Krista Foley announced to the Times Colonist on January 26, 2018. She added, We sold five of them on Tuesday morning because I put them in a locked cage in the window on Saturday afternoon. By Tuesday morning, people were phoning. People from Ontario and all over the place were contacting me, wanting to buy them. 
In the end, the store sold the valuables for over $800. And Sims couldn't have been happier. The money will go to a good cause, and that makes me feel good, she said. It will go to helping the whole community. And although Sims didn't end up keeping the jewelry she'd found, she was nevertheless impressed with her discovery. Now when people claim you can't find anything of value in thrift stores, she has three simple words for them. Hey, I did. <laughs>